Hello, hello everybody, we're back with more Witchwood. You already know it. Now we have to do to get the cat soul. And he's in the market, and that's where we are at. I'm assuming Yep. Oh, I didn't really do my intro really well because I'm very terrible at it, but before I start reading this, uh if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. If you like to be hit the like button. I would very much appreciate it. It'd be awesome of you if you do that. But anyways, that's uh <clears throat> You elbow your way through the front of the crowd that has gathered to observe three a three way shouting match. A trio of merchants yelling well wildly at you and that are you treacherous fiend! I know it was you that snuck into my shop and put the mills worm in my bread. Worms, do you think you have time to trespass uh, trapeze about your silly bakery? I have to make sure you stay on my smithy. Firecrackers in my coal? I could have lost an eye. Bleh. And you. And you would have deserved it, you traitor. I know you ruined my batch of my candles with the sulfur stunt. Now my store smells like meals behind. Do that. Ooh, that. <laughs> Trust me, that dude's voice really hurt my throat. Ugh. The men launched themselves at one another, fist swinging and whirling in melee. Off in the shadows, you catch a stealthy figure watching the chaos with a delighted grin. <laughs> oh, dance, dance. How the idiots prance? The flick of her tail. Oh, okay, so I need more. I guess that wouldn't. Be. The flick of her tail, the feline disappears through the maze of market stalls. What's all this commotion about? Sad. Oh, it's a sad year to A dull, monotonous voice drowns across the square and reply, You don't even know the worst of it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh, let's see, so that looks like a uh, tree. Well, I move over there, though. Uh, so. Back to the unicorn. Hey, unicorn. Itch to the post that tried a creature raises a tearful filled eyes at you despite its depressing appearance. You find yourself somehow feeling lighter. What on earth is the rainbow spirit doing in the midst of a market bra? I thought your kind thrived on love and sunshine and all that kind of sappy drivel. Oh sure, normally this market's a wonderful place to be, but lately it's been nothing but misery and now I'm rest just look around. All I see is three little brats puffing out their chests and barking like mutts. Surely a hot meal goes and a good night's rest will cool their heads. I'm afraid it goes deeper than that. You'll see all sorts of awful things have been happening. Vandalism in folks' gardens, trash in a well, wagon wheels tampered with, rumors spreading like wildflower about this or that, cheats and lies. Now I'm usually the one who keeps the peace around here with my trusty magical horn. Makes the truth flow and keeps folks honest, but with all this deception and treachery in the air, it's as limp as a noodle. My powers are useless. Tisk tisk, a droopy horn is no laughing matter. If you had a bit of a pick me up, do you suppose you could have get this place under control? Sure, uh, sugar. I just need to get my strength back. A good snack out of perky right up. Rainbow roll. I need a rainbow roll in my life. I need a rainbow roll in my life. I need a glitter bomb. Now I need a glitter bomb. That's very easy because I just need this. I can make a glitter bomb go boom, boom, boom. I know we can make a rainbow roll. A delicious, a delicious treat. The magic paste sparkles beautiful on one's tongue. I don't know, it's a glitter bomb, and I don't know if I'll eat it, but hey. The miserable creature dips its snout to misgauge your tasty dessert. Is, is this for me? 
It troubles me to see you develop beast, benevolent beast, afflicted by such mel melody. And the quicker that horn of yours works, the quicker we can sort this mess. Throwing back its head, the unicorn swallows an odd confection without even chewing. The spots on its back bowling softer lavender and its two feet levitates off the ground just for a moment. From above, a thin silver of sunlight breaks through the clouds and sparkles off the unicorn's horn, momentarily blinding you in a dazzling flash. You look at the unicorn back, the unicorn is happy wagging its tail at you, its horn is rejuvenated with a pearl scent sheen. <laughs> ah! That hit the spot! Looks like the old truth detector is working again! Well... Well... What are you waiting for? Blast those fools! The unicorn lowers its horn and takes a feuding shopkeeper so long the moment passes as the unicorn's body quivers in expectation. Uh, wait, oh, I swear this never happens. My powers are all charged up, but none of them are actually lying. So, they really did sabotage each other's business then. My, my horn will only be able to blast the lies out to someone who's truly false. As far as they know, they are each telling the truth. Hmm, which means someone else must be responsible for this mess. The feuding shopkeepers run out of insults that hurl each other and all sort of make to their business at a huff. I'll go investigate the scene of the crimes at the shops. Maybe I could turn up some clues. down here. Ew. <laughs> Looks like we're in the candles place. Talk to the candle. The dude who, you know I'm glad because this dude fucking hurt my throat. This infestable, insufferable baker, I'll tear his nose off next time I see him. Settle down, Master Can Chandler. You're being duped by pr prankster. <laughs> A prankster it was a uh, baker, I'm sure of it. I don't see no evidence on the contrary. You want evidence? Eh? I bet there's a clue around here that will unveil the real truth. Get some evidence or get out. So. Max Candles Grinder. This is long, to honest. This bag smells especially of sulfur and has shipping address stamped on it. Pair 3 and port stockyards. Uh, can I make a key? I bet you I can't. No, I can't. Oh, I thought it was locked. I thought I said it was locked. I was lied to. Was that the clue? Oh, investigate. Okay. That was the clue. At Pier 3. Um, alright. I guess I should go talk to the others first. Okay. Uh, let's go up here. I already don't know what. Oh, just the bakery. I don't remember the voices I gave them already. I'm gonna be real honest. Grr, that old fish blocksmith grinds my gears. I got to give him a smack on the brow next time I see him. Master Baker, please settle down. You're being tricked. Heh. <laughs> I very much doubt that. Only fool, a only fool will believe that story without any evidence. Fine, fine. You want evidence? I'll get you some. It's coming almost left loose here somewhere. Well then, you got any evidence yet? Uh, just you wait. No jar. Yes. Uh, strange for. Base does not look like it belongs in the bakery, but there's still some bugs and dirt inside. An inspection inside reads 
Arlo Grimes, 17xx17. In XX hanged under the old grave tree for crimes he never committed. Ah. Nice, so I mean nice. Very, very interesting, I should say. Very, very interesting, I say. Um now we gotta go talk to the good old blacksmith. Where's the blacksmith? Out of you guys, uh you know that markiplier reference, uh haha. <laughs> Where's the blacksmith? Where's the blacksmith? <laughs> Ugh, that plastic handler. I'll wring his scrawny neck. Calm yourself, Master Blacksmith. You're being played as well. Huh. Back chat. Only some. How Evans could ever convince me that it wasn't that blundering knife knife. If someone really had been sticking around here, they ought to be some clues left behind. Only evidence that could possibly change my mind. could have <clears throat> some fireworks have been hastily shoved into this cold barrel tagged on the fireworks property of town watch if lost please return to the village gallows okay so uh, we'll go to the docks get the dock stuff done since we're like really close to the docks anyways boom just down there see look at that at pier three. All right, I don't know how to count, so I'm gonna look at different piers and hopefully see if we can count. Oh, that's five, six, seven, twenty total, sixty times. All right, we're going the right way. So we're going down that's five, four, uh. Oh wait, yeah, that's that means that that's why I took that's four. So three is right over here. Ah. Yes. Okay, well that's something I hate the most. Okay, cool. Uh I need a fish. I'll fish. This the shipping address is for the sulfur, sulfur crates, but you don't find anything incriminating. You do have a spot something wedged between the watery piles of the pier. Something must have gotten knocked down off the docks, or was it pers purposely disposed of like a real... Let's reel it up where it will be. Passy. Smart. You fish out an empty sulfur tin with a wad of wet pepper stuffed inside. So the ink is running, you can still make out the loopy handwriting. Another brilliant strategy by the world's most brilliant strategist, that's me. Like, if you're reading this, then you must be sure to write my name down in the history books. The supper smells so rotten, it will put the candlesticks the Chandler makes right in the trash. He'll think the baker did it when I dust the shop with flour. Well then, well then, there's the proof for the channel's looking for. Alright, now we gotta go to the graveyard and to the village first. Might as well get the rest. Uh, so we just need to the village. So I'm just like this way with this. What do you think I need to craft next? Um, where are the gallows? Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. It's like it's a town square. 
Oh, you know, how the fuck did I not take this the to uh, the gallows? Like, I should have known. I'd go through this area a couple times. You peer through the slanted brit. Slight, slanted planks of the town's gallows. It doesn't look like it's seen much use recently. The space underneath is stuffed with evidence storage and parade decorations, including the box of dusty fireworks. An errant note catches your eye, but you can't fit your hand underneath the wood planks. Try it. I need something thin and grabby. All thin and grabby, you say. Why do you walk away like that? You pluck out the paper from underneath the gallows. It looks like a torn notebook page hastily stuffed in a crack, almost wanting to be discovered. If you're reading this, then you no doubt have been witness to my quickest crime spree. I, the cat, will be remembered throughout history as the greatest underground mastermind. Town flat. Flatfoots will never notice a couple of parade fiery smithing. The blacksmith buffoon will lose more than a few chess hairs. How oh, arrogant. The proof is ought to give us the blacksmith the cat's involvement. And now to the graveyard. And now to the graveyard and eat the yard of grave. Do 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 do. Hopefully I have enough materials to make whatever I need to make. Do, 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 do. The crooked fellow peers down at you as if someone else was coming to make fun of his internal predicament. You sort a piece of paper floating inside the translucent body. What what you got there? Don't suppose I can convince you to cuff that paper, can I? Spare it's all it's easy. You sprinkle the exercising salts onto the ghost. His sputter seizes up the paper sp suspended inside his head before going back to his swinging as if nothing ever happened. Looks like a page of someone's diary. My best plan yet. These gray bugs will make the baker's buns taste like in the blue ink layers. I'll just dump the dirt out of this stupid urn and carry them. This should be enough proof to let go who the real Cooper was. Alright, uh... And, uh, uh, do I have the portal unlocked for the... I think I do. I'm like... 50% sure I do. Yeah. Since it's right here, it's gonna be a fun time. You yes, sit well. Hey, Mr. Baker, here you go. Well, well, what how, have you got any evidence yet? The baker's brow arches in anger and reads the cat's confession. That unrefined little urchin, how dare she tamper with my buns like that? You'll forgive the spec blacksmith then, huh? Well, sure, does it look like he was involved in this after all. Splendid. If you three can get along enough, we can bring the real copper to justice. I feel like you, you just need one. That's right. But like, oh, well, if the cat did this to this business and tried to frame this guy, it, yeah, you know. Oh, well, then the cat must have done the same thing to the other thing. Mm -hmm. But hey, what do I know? I'm not a simple witch. Living a lie, eating flames, and destroying your livelihood. All right, right there. Here's the cat confession. The Chandler's cheeks flush bright red and stopping shouting at the cat's confession. Why, that yelling pest. That's my whole livelihood she's meddling with. You agree that Baker's innocent then? Hmm. Looks like he didn't have any hand in this horrible crime, so his bread still 
Still, if you ask me. As long as you three put a stop to this ruckus, maybe we can put the end to this grudge after all. I'll keep my eyes peeled for that dear and cat. She won't show her nose around here again, that's for sure. And this is why you don't trust cats. Cats are evil creatures, and that's why we like dogs. That's why we keep dogs instead. This dog is loyal. Cats are beautiful. Okay, it's in this way. I think so, yes, okay. <laughs> Man, I'm not gonna co not collect the nails, I mean. They're so useful. I can make skeleton keys and other stuff. Hey, Blacksmith. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This man's beady eyes goes wide with anger and reads through the paper. Why, that no good cut. The whole market could have gone up in a ball of fire. I take it you let the Chandler off the hook? Sure, sure. Looks like he wasn't involved in this plot, though. I still don't care for his candles much. Excellent. Maybe with the three piece, you we can get to the bottom of this. Now these paper. Now these three fellows have cooled down a bit. I better chat with the plump purple pony to figure out the best way to yeah, get the swindler. Oh my gosh, these are super hard. Look, I just need a bunch of freaking knees, because that's like the only thing I'm like super low on, right? Uh, not super low on. Play is another thing we need out. Oh my gosh, for those. My nose. Oh, Joy, you're back. Did you find anything? In those shops, it would it would appear your market is plugged with the mastermind schemes of the cat, but maybe not so mastermind. She did leave behind a bunch of clues for me to find. As summon, although as though summon a fairy shaped somersault onto the nearby roof type with flourish. Nay, nay, nay. <laughs> Let's see, you're a fan of my genius accomplishments. Well, you're not soon. I'll have this whole village at my mercy. Quickly, your magic horn. Shuffle's stumpy legs get better shot at the monologuing feline. With the flick of her tail, the cat disappears, leaving only her voice crackling in the air. Hey, you'll have to be faster than that, slow pokes. Oh no. I'm sorry, I'm not very maneuverable in high pressure situations. Ah, don't fret, we'll just have to make sure she stands still next time. I should be able to concrete a tranquilizing kitty treat strong enough for to keep her attention. I'll set up a, by that big statue there and just be ready to fire. Alright, I thought I was gonna ask for a cat treat. Check it, need more milk, spice. All right. Where's that thing? There's this thing. No, I wanted to hate that. Uh, pigeon beak. Ah, uh, okay. And what? Blue feather. Okay. I just didn't make so if I do this, we'll one calm. But yeah, that please, thank you. And we're back. Sorry, I just placed the thing down. I was, I was, I was kind of zoned out. My bad. Uh, you placed on the scrumptious looking cat treat duck behind the pumpkin to hide. With the moments you hear the telltale laughter of the cat over the market stalls. Nay, ha ha! It's the best you can do. What's what do you take from me? A basic alley cat? You need more than just a lump of garbage to catch me. Despite her lofty words, her eyes go wide and her tail flickers as the scent of fish and catnip reaches her nose. Why? I'm the most sophisticated criminal criminal underload this world has ever seen. Or say what? Is that tuna? You give a signal to unicorn, but 
See that beast is still facing entirely the wrong direction. Uh, must I do everything around here? So, uh huh, what? Oh, right, the cat. We say the aims and be sure it's to account for a drag in the wind speed direction. All right, I got it here this time. By the light of the truth, I banish all lies from thee. A brilliant spark of rainbow light emits from the unicorn's horn and streaks out towards the preoccupied cat. When the, mar the colorful smoke clears, you can see. You can't see hide nor hair of the cat. Only smoldering hair, fancy leather boots remain near the statue. <laughs> wow, for a moment there I thought all that talk about your magic horn was pure hogwash. I, I mean, usually it doesn't have such an explosive effect. I only mean to expel the lies from her, but I guess she was all lies? Didn't have a truthful bone in her body. Well, whatever the reason, I suppose she won't be blighting your market any longer. Yes, that's right. I can wait for life to get back to normal. Thank you for all your help. You glance at the cat's boot slumber over on the side. I better go gather her up. You pick up the smoke, smoky boots of the cat, a rainbow hue radiant off the leather, the smell strongly of the feet and candy. Soul of the cat, though your suspect mean your suspect she may have eight more lives left. Who knows? Maybe that was her her eighth life right there, or ninth. You know, maybe she's out of lives finally. Yeah, the goat would be wit wanting to take custody of these four. Best not keep him waiting. No, no, we shall not. We shall turn these in before the episode ends. Because we still have four more out there. So. Oh, I forget. oh yeah, I forget. I can collect these here, dude. Nice. I should. Maybe I should go Mercury a little more often. Nah, I don't think it's actually good in the farming place. But hey. It's the thought that counts or something, right? Hey goat! A goat snorts with delight with their approach. Wonderful, you have returned with more souls. These were even more troublesome than the last. I will be glad to be rid of them. If you would be so kind, bring them to the shrine. Then we will be one step closer to concluding our business together. Bronze bell, the clinging of the rams. Bronze bell rings out in your ears, many voices chanting in unison, grabbing hands, trembling feet. Cat skin boots, the mechanism of the cats unfold before you as her boots burn away before the shrine. Pieces moving on a game board, cheats after lies. Rat knot. Sensations of the rat filled your mind, tiny feet scratching at crumbling walls, digging in cold cold earth, snapping brittle bones, taking, stealing, hiding. Captain's cap. You hold your breath as the salty feeling of the fish washes over you. The sound of the creaking wood jagged your bar barnacles, crashing waves, fading light to betrayal. Uh, there we go. Uh, your shoulder straightens as if a great weight has lifted from them. The maiden stirs in her sleep, troubled by fitful dreams. Um, only four more souls left until our contract is fulfilled. But I expect it has been a tiring day. Come, you should get some sleep. Yes, I could rest. Four more souls. Four more souls. Four souls. But as we wake... I must end this episode here. It was great. It was fun. But I shall see you in the next episode.